Hello, hello, everyone. It's Shelly with Chalk and History with Shelly Kalick. I'm an independent designer. Let's have a demo. I'll be with you shortly if you don't mind going ahead and inviting your friends, sprinkling. That would be awesome. We'll start in a bit. Happy Tuesday. If you'd like to be notified with a text that I go live because you miss your Facebook notifications, go ahead and comment text. Our texting system just went out. Hello, Kathy, how are you? Yay. I am live. Woohoo. Thank you for sprinkling, I appreciate you. All right, give me one moment and we'll get going here. Happy Tuesday, friends. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> These puppies are very, very busy little babies. Oh my gosh. Whew. When they're sleeping, I have to either stay very close or just kind of catch up on things around the house uh, because they don't sleep long. They take little cat naps, even though they're puppies. And when they're awake, Holy moly, it's like two little tornadoes. <laughs> they are crazy, crazy babies. All right. Whew. It's February 28th. That is nuts that we're almost done with February. I am just going to dig right in because my time is short. We are also trying to do some crate training. So I threw them in their crate. I am the only one home besides um, one other family member. So two puppies is hard to take care of with one person. Um, so they are in their cage. They have fallen asleep for a little nap nap. So let's get creative. All right. So we have, I found this really fun embroidery hoop. Um, it's more of like a, just a, a frame, but it's plastic. And this thing that goes around it is kind of rubbery, but this is a, a hard plastic ring. I would imagine you can put fabric, you know, if you do a cross stitch, uh, sign or an embroidery sign but it just kind of snaps in that channel and I thought oh I wonder if our simple shapes match that or fit that and they do they don't fit in like I wouldn't be able to snap it in the rubber piece because I thought that would be cool but we can definitely attach it to the back side um, and hang it that way so that's what I thought we'd do we're going to use one of our spring in your step Easter transfers there's six, desi six designs that come on that. Um, so we're gonna do the I Love My Little Sprouts because they are my little sprouts. All right. They are cute. Thank you, thank you. They're, they're lucky they're cute, right? Okay, so first things first, we're going to wax up our surface as we like to do that. So first I'm gonna apply it. 
I'm kind of going across, like this is the wood grain this way. I am putting the wax on against the wood grain so that we can get it in all those little grooves and crevices. So I apply it. And then we're going to take a paper towel. Um, we have applicators that you can use as well. I just feel like the coarseness of a paper towel just brings it to a nice little shine. And that's how I like my boards to look. So we're just going to go ahead and buff that in. If you wanted to paint it, you can paint it first with your chalk paste or with paints. Um, or you can leave it plain like I am, or you can sand it down and give it a nice rustic look. You can do that too. Okay. But that is a nice, we have a nice little shine on there. If I can see how that's, you can kind of see a glare on there. That's how I like it to look. Okay. All right. Let's turn this over and label it. This is from the spring in your step transfer. And this is the I love my little sprouts. I'm just going to put little sprouts. That way I know. Now, with our new transfers, the back side is almost similar to the front side. So this is really important so that you don't put your transfers back on the wrong side, okay? So you can mark it with an X, you can mark it however you wanna mark it, but mark it, okay? So we're gonna take that off. And I would like the wood grain to go sideways. So I'm gonna line this up. And another nice thing about our new transfers is they are super transparent. So now we can see our exact placement. I'm gonna to try to get this guy centered as best I can. It's a six inch circle, right? So it should go side to side. Now I am just kind of lose, I'm kind of tipping it more up or placing it more up on my circle so that um, the P, when I do apply this, we don't cut off that P. So we're gonna place it a little higher on the circle. All right. Awesome sauce. All right. Got a little note saying they're still sleeping. Yay. Okay. Let's bring it in a little closer for you. Bring it over here for you here. And what's kind of nice is we can use the end of that transfer to kind of hold our project still. Okay, so I have some camel because I thought the camel would go really well with the wood frame or the plastic wood frame. I brought out our new color. Uh, what is this one? Let's do this. This was Wild Lime. And then, of course, we have our Shimmer Violet. So pretty. Okay. And then we have some mini squeegees. So in the description of the video, if you like the simple shapes and you like the colors I've used, um, you can always change out the different colors. But if you like the transfer and you like those other designs, where are they? Um, we have five other ones that come on that transfer. It's the Hip Hop You Don't Stop. I'm gonna I'm planning something really fun for this one. Uh, we did the Oopsie Daisy in our five inch box frame. This says OK Bloomer. Chick magnets. Oops, sorry, I'm cutting it off. So it's let's go through those again. Hip hop, you don't stop. Oopsie daisy. Okay, bloomer. Chick magnet. And hip hop, you don't stop. So I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? Hmm. Well, there's one floating around somewhere. But we'll find it. All right, there should be six. 
let's get started. So I think I am going to do the actual um, little like vase that they're in. We're gonna do that in our camel. Let me get another little cut. So let's get some camel, put on my glasses. And we're gonna go straight across. You guys, I am loving these new transfers. They are so easy to chalk on and clean up. And you use very, very little of your paste. There's very, very little waste. Okay, we'll come back to that color because I'm not sure if I want to use that somewhere else or not. Um, and then, of course, we have to do the sprouts in green. Makes sense, right? We're going to make those nice and limey. So let's get those done. Our squeegees just glide right over our transfers now. It's really nice. All right. Kind of flatten that out there a little bit. Okay. Do we want to do anything else? Let's do sprouts in this color. Gosh, it is so easy to spread your excess here. So we had a brand new kit drop yesterday, which is so exciting. It has the Cottontail market transfer along with the bunny cutout, the chocolate chip shape, both are retired, but they saved enough for some starter kits. So if you guys want that cottontail and you want that bunny rabbit cutout, now is the time to get it. There is just limited quantities left. Let's go ahead and get our shimmer violet here. Um, let's do little. I'm gonna start warming up my glue gun too. Hopefully that's charged. Okay. Um, and I think I'm gonna do the words, so. I think I need a smaller one for that. Let me get a smaller one. Because I just want to keep it right where I want it. I don't want it spreading any further than it needs to be spread. Look how it just kind of falls into that mesh. And, it, and you really don't leave any behind anywhere. I mean, there's minimal, but gosh, barely anything. Okay, there's that. Now I think what I'll do is for these little marks here, we're gonna come back to the camel. You can see how the lines just catch it, right? The little mesh design there. That just catches it. And you can take away whatever excess is left. The more you keep going over it though, the more it does dry on you and leave more on. So just quickly get it off. And we're gonna just take that transfer off. Oh, how cute is that? Cute. I love my little sprouts. So cute. All right, let's get this dry. The glue gun is heating up. And then we'll attach it to this. Hopefully the glue, gun, the glue hot glue is enough to attach it. Thank 
few nice springy colors, right? But it's also kind of neutral to me. For the green, we have several different greens. You could use uh, the spruce or the shimmer olive if you want to do all shimmers. I do think it's a little light for this, but I also think it's a, just a light and airy piece. So I'm happy with it. Oddly enough, there's three little sprouts and I have three children. So this is perfect. Perfect. Okay, so this is how it will go on. Let's see. That is how it will look once it's all finished. How cute is that? We can make a magnet out of it. It's pretty light. Um, I could do like a sawtooth hanger on the back. I could even do a Velcro strip and that would be perfect too. All right, so this is the top. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little ring of some glue around and hopefully that will be enough. to keep it down and of course I'm probably going to need another stick of glue and this squirt let's get this on before it dries Move it around a little bit here. Nope, once it hit that plastic, it pretty much dried. So there's some little glue cleanup we have to do, but for the most part, there we go. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. Yay. I love my little sprouts. And that is how easy and quick it is to do a project at home or if you're with your friends and want to get together and just have fun creating some home decor pieces or gosh, I don't know if you get together and donate things to um, certain facilities or organizations. These kind of things are so, so easy to do and so quick and very inexpensive. But we're done, friends. We are done. All right, let's clean up our transfer. I haven't showed you that in a while, so let's put that to the side. Bring our transfer over. All right, so the paste does dry hard on our surfaces, right, and on our transfers. So what we need to do is re-wet them. And I take our misting bottle here. It just has tap water in there. I'm just gonna get it nice and wet. These clean up, oh my gosh, so easy. I'll let that sit for a couple seconds. Then I'm gonna grab a couple of wipes. These are just antibacterial wipes that we have used since day one. All right, and we're just gonna go in a circle. I just, it takes up the layer of paste that's you know left on your transfers, okay? Let's lift it up. We're gonna flip it over and can rub this side. And it looks like it's still there, doesn't it? So let's do this. Let's give it another little couple squirts. Okay. And we are going to use this magical tool called your board eraser. Okay, it's not only for your boutique style type chalkboards, but it's awesome for your transfers. So we're just gonna go and rub that. So I've already wet this under my sink. And look at that. Look how it took all that excess paste out of that silk screen mesh. Okay, wipe that down, flip her over again, and this will take more of that staining off. So your transfers clean up so much better than our older ones. Okay, wipe that down. 
It is a brand new transfer. They are good for up to 12 times. Eh, I would say even more than that if you take good care of them. You know, you could easily have like a little assembly line and just chalk, 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 one after another. Easily, easily. All right, I'm gonna put this one back because we don't need that. They dry a ton quicker too. So I'm just gonna lightly wipe that across the adhesive. Pick that up. And we're just gonna take that moisture off the top. Pull that up. We're gonna grab our backer sheets. It says spring your step, little sprouts. And line up the corners. You could rub that down. And you have yourself a nice clean transfer to be used again. Honestly, I could just kind of, excuse me, wave that in the air and dry it a little bit more and I can keep on chalking more projects with it. It just, it dries so much quicker than the other ones too. But that is it. I am so glad you guys caught me tonight. Whew, it's been crazy two weeks lately, but we are loving our little fur babies and I hope to come soon to you again, hopefully tomorrow. If not, I'll see you guys again soon.